Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More. It's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how to use the humanize function inside Scalar 2 as it helps to add uh, those natural fillings in terms of randomizing almost imperfection on velocity and also timings and plus more than that. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, I decided to record uh, um, this video this time in uh, side Cubases instead of AUM, but it works perfectly also inside uh, AUM. So the first thing I want to do is to ensure that I have a strength down to zero for the quantize, otherwise it will uh, remove the effect of humanizing, particularly on uh, timings for notes. Next, we're going to add um, three MIDI channel like so, one, two, and three. The reason that we have three of those, I'll explain very quickly. So let's click on the first one. Let's go on MIDI effects, select, uh, click on top here. Let's scroll down and let's find um, Scalar Control 2 because it will be added as a MIDI effect. Let's click on the list browse here to uh, minimize that. Then uh, let's bring this up to maximum screen. Let's click record to track because we want to do that. And what I'm going to do also, I'm going to browse a template. So if you click on songs, I haven't shown this before, but you can browse different types of chord progression based on the type of songs that you like or the genre that you like for the song. In this case, I'm going to select trance and trance one, and I have these progression of chords. Now I'm going to click and select these like so, click and drag, and then I click and drag these down here. So I have that uh, a progression, um, code progression down here on the uh, section C where you build your patterns. Then I'm going to click here on the settings and I'm going to enable also those sync to on, back and click X to exit. Okay, next we're going to the second track. This is where I will have uh, uh, the humanize function to change velocity. Okay, so I click here to add the scalar uh, instance. So scalar control two again, uh, remove this as well. We enable record track. Okay, and I'm not going to bring in anything else uh, for now, apart from clicking on humanize, because this is where you humanize it and select velocity. Okay. We close this one, we go to the third track, we do the same, add the MIDI effect, scroll down, we go to Scalar Control 2, remove the list on the left, then activate Humanize, but this time we're going to select Timing, okay? We're going to close that, we're going to the first MIDI track, open Scalar 2 again, Scalar Control 2 in this case, go to the menu here, click on the S, click on the Sync function, and then wait that it says two instances detected, perfect. Then we're going to click Progression, Builder, Section C, C, and Do Sync. And then we are going to click on Sync, okay? And there has been a quick refresh. Click outside. Now what will happen is if I go to the second instance of Scalar Control 2, you see now that this has been brought in and also that the Do Sync will be set to On. And the same on the third one as well just to check yeah perfect and those sync is on as well fantastic okay next we are going to record so let's go back to the first track go back to the beginning and click record and we're going to stop there we're going back to the beginning, select the second track, and record. Okay, stop, go to the third track, go back at the beginning, and record. Okay, so as you can see on the third one, let's open it up. I didn't select record to track. So let's enable that again. Let's go back to the beginning and record again.
perfect. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's double click on the first track. Okay, as you can see down below here, if I maximize the um, the velocity, it is all the same, of course. And if I also scroll in and zoom in, there are no changes on the different nodes. Now let's go to the second instance. Okay, let's maximize the um, the view on velocity, and you can see that um, there are changes. Not a lot, but there are changes on. Oops, I'm. I'm on the first one. Let's select the second one. Okay, you can see there are changes on velocity. There you go. Okay. And let's make, it, make sure now we select the third one. Okay. And um, let's uh, uh, now open up the view and uh, maximize even more the view. And what you can see is there are differences on starting of the notes. So the timing is different. That gives you that uh, imperfection or that natural plane as uh, if it was a human plane. Okay. So that is how you use uh, the humanize function for velocity and timing, of course. Now, if we go back to a scalar control to Again, instance, there are other options for humanize. So you can humanize for both. So for both velocity and timing, so you enable both. You can also quantize. So you can quantize by different nodes, okay? And that becomes particularly handy when, for example, you have um, a, a perform mode on, like, for example, on rhythm. So I suggested that you have a rhythm. You choose, for example, a resoluto. Um, type of rhythm and then perhaps you enhance the resolution as well and that you will notice that when you have a humanize on and quantization by a quarter or one eighth of notes you will notice of course a big difference similar for swing which will add that, that swing effect based on the type of note duration that you select okay i'm going to stop here hopefully you enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial on how to use the humanize function and we have also seen that you can create um, code progression from songs and plate which is really really nice okay see you next time